All right, one of the big stories in a boys' high school basketball has been Hanover Central's success. T-Dub was out in Cedar Lake, and it seems like the coach is just as shocked as anybody by their, <laughs> by their success this year. Let's check it out. Coach, first off, nine straight wins to begin the season for a team that had not had a winning season in four straight seasons. How'd you pull that off? Well, we just had kids that came and stepped up this school year or basketball season that we didn't anticipate doing as well as they did, to be quite honest with you. You know, it was, it was a shock to me, as it was everybody else in the region, that we came out and played that well. But luckily, they've kept it going for the season here, and we're sitting here at a nice record in the, getting ready to start February. A sophomore, Dominic Lucido, is one of the guys that have gotten it done for you. What makes him so special? Well, he can do pretty much anything. You know, he can dribble with his right hand, finish with his right hand, finish with his left hand, dribble with the left hand, shoot the three, shoot the pull up. You know, he's, he's deceptively quick, and so pretty much anything he wants to do on the basketball floor, he can do it. You know, and it doesn't hurt that we're running the up tempo system, so he's got a lot of freedom up and down the floor to, to do all those things. And you have Joe Jackson, a senior who, I guess, is responsible for adding a little leadership on this team, being a senior. Yeah, he's, he definitely stepped up in the leadership role. Uh, you know, Joe goes from a guy scoring three points a game last year, and now he's at 13, and second in the area and three points made. Again, one of those big surprises for us that we couldn't anticipate that, you know, coming into the season. It's all you hope for it, but it's not what we anticipated. So Joe stepped up big, and... Luke Barrich has stepped up from, you know, one point a game to 13 a game. And, you know, you can keep going down the line. And so that's what makes it such a successful season thus far. And you guys like to push the basketball, which means you're pretty entertaining from time to time. Cor correct. Yeah. Well, you know, with all these weapons that we have, we would definitely like to get it going. And um, I wish we played defense a little bit better. You know, I don't mind scoring 88, but I don't like giving up 86, you know. So, uh, but, I, you know, we understand that we do uh, get the fans going and the fans like to come to the games. And so that's a good thing for us. What can you do to improve the defense come sectional time? Because obviously when you push the ball more, that means the other team gets the ball um, just as quicker. Yeah, well, we're just working on things in practice, working on uh, being on better defensive position, help side stuff, and keeping the guy in front of you, closing off the lane, you know, all the basic basketball things, you know, we just continue to work on every single day. Morgan Township won the Porter County Tournament. You beat them in double overtime. How important was that win after that Lake Station loss? Oh, very important to bounce back. You know, as I said in the newspaper after that game, you know, it's a life lesson for our kids. You know, you you play 32 minutes against Lake Station and lose with one second to go, and then you turn around and prepare for the next game that goes into overtime. You know, we banked in a three at the end of regulation against Morgan to even send that game in. So they just kept fighting, kept fighting, kept fighting, and eventually came out with a W. Confidence-wise, going into the final month of the season, where do you sit with this ball club? Yeah, pretty confident. You know, uh, we struggled against some of the quicker teams. Uh, so we're, again, practicing on that, working on that, having a couple uh, extra JV guys on the floor every, every day of practice. Uh, but, you know, we know we can put the ball in the hole. We just really got to worry about the, the defensive end right now. All right, that was a visit down to Hanover Central to see them off to an outstanding season. You know you're, you've are you made it when you see Tommy walk in the door with a microphone <laughs> ready for the interview. Yeah. Yeah. Or call 911. Yeah. <laughs> so it's one of the two.